Starting with the top chiral carbon, prioritize the atoms or groups attached to the chiral carbon. Oxygen will be the highest, followed by the chain bonded to the alcohols, then the methyl and the hydrogen will have the lowest priority. To visualize the Fischer projection, draw as dashed and wedges. Now rotate the hydrogen to the back and we see that the carbon has an R configuration. Could we have figured this out just looking at the Fischer projection? Of course we could. Shortcut. Prioritize like normal. The sequence is anti-clockwise, but the lowest priority is in the front. Thus, if you were looking from the other side of the molecule, it would have a clockwise or R configuration. Now rotate the hydrogen to the back and we see that the carbon has an R configuration. Could we have figured this out just looking at the Fischer projection? Of course we could. Shortcut. Prioritize like normal. The sequence is anti-clockwise, but the lowest priority is in the front. Thus, if you were looking from the other side of the molecule, it would have a clockwise or R configuration. Looking at the next chiral carbon, the oxygen has the highest priority and the hydrogen has the lowest priority. Which chain is next? There are two carbons, so go to the next set of atoms. We have an oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Since they are the same, go to the next set of atoms. For the top chain, we have four hydrogens, and for the bottom chain, we have carbon and two hydrogens. The carbon has a higher atomic number, so the bottom chain would have the second priority. Draw as wedges and dashes to visualize the Fischer projection. Rotate the hydrogen to the back, and we see we have an S configuration. If we just looked at the Fischer projection, the sequence is going clockwise. If we were looking at the molecule from the other side, the sequence would be anti-clockwise, and thus the Carl carbon has an S configuration. Rotate the hydrogen to the back, and we see we have an S configuration. If we just looked at the Fischer projection, the sequence is going clockwise. If we were looking at the molecule from the other side, the sequence would be anti-clockwise, and thus the Carl carbon has an S configuration. Last Carl carbon, do the same. Prioritize, rotate the hydrogen to the back, and we see we have an R configuration. If we just look at the Fischer projection, the sequence is going anti-clockwise. If we were looking at the molecule from the other side, the sequence would be clockwise, and thus the Carl carbon has an R configuration. Rotate the hydrogen to the back, and we see we have an R configuration. If we just look at the Fischer projection, the sequence is going anti-clockwise. If we were looking at the molecule from the other side, the sequence would be clockwise, and thus the Carl carbon has an R configuration.